Good morning and welcome to the replay. I'll be with you in just a moment. morning, Doris. I'll be right with you. Hi, Leslie. I'll be right there. Good morning, Patty. Are you a member? I don't think you are, my dear. Okay, well, good morning, everybody. Happy hump day. It is Wednesday. Good morning, Cindy and Leslie. How are you guys doing today? I am super stoked about um, this project. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with this design transfer when I got it this month. But oh my gosh, I've got like a lot of ideas now. So I'm super excited about this. And um, if you are interested in being a club member of mine, I'm going to tell you all about the benefits of doing that after we work on this project. So I don't want to wait too long. Good morning, Miss Nancy. So this is going to be super fun, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. At least as much as I hope this is going to come out well. Lately, I've been having a, a little bit of a tough spell with some of my projects, but hey, it's a new day, right? Okay, so let me switch my screen around so that you can see what I've got here. I'm gonna move that out of the way for now. But this is a design that I made um, not too long ago. It's been sitting in my kitchen during the whole COVID pandemic. And every time I read it, I go, everything's gonna be okay, everything's gonna be all right. And sometimes I even sing that Beatles song. Nancy, I think you know what I mean. So I'm gonna wash this off and we are gonna create a brand new design on it. Sometimes it's hard to wash off designs. I get attached to them and I know that you guys do too. But it's going bye-bye today because the pandemic is going to also, right? Hope so. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this down with some water. And um, you can use regular tap water to clean off your designs. Um, and you can clean them off any non-porous surface like chalkboards, metal, um, painted wood, sometimes glass, metal, anything that's non-porous. You can wash it right off with water. Just gonna let this soak for a minute while I tell you a little bit about Club Couture. And what this is, it is a monthly subscription kind of plan. And they send you a cute little envelope like this every month with an exclusive design transfer that is only available to my club members. Good morning, Miss Shelley. So um, not only do you get a B-size transfer every month, they also send you three paste packet singles, which are, um, I never have one out when I need to show you one. They're these little guys here. Remember those? You get three of those with each one. You also get video instructions on how to use your transfer as well as written directions. So you have this covered. And we could do this project just like the one in the image here, but you guys, you know me. I gotta, I gotta switch it up a little bit and make it a little bit more fun. But before we do that, I'm gonna clean this one off. I've had that soaking for a few minutes and I'm going to be using our scraping tool to remove this chalk. Now most of it should come right up when I, when I go across it with, um, with the tool. And you should end up with a nice little pile of chalk in the middle of your design somewhere. So you can see how easy this is. If you don't have a tool, you can scrub and scrub and scrub and get it off and it'll be fine, but you'll never do it as quickly as you will with this tool. This is thebomb.com. Did I say that? Thebomb.com. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> So, all right, I'm just gonna dry this up. Don't need that tool anymore. So most of the chalk came right off, but if you look really closely, let me see if I can show you. 
you can still see something that's called ghosting. It's just sort of a little shadow of what was behind there before. So I'm gonna squirt that with a little bit more water and I'm gonna go over it with one of our board erasers. These are formulated to clean chalkboards and transfers. They're like, they're like um, magic erasers on crack. The best thing about these is that there are no chemicals involved. I'm trying not to spill my coffee here. There are no chemicals, so you're not gonna have any harmful uh, things to damage your chalkboard or your skin. They're very, very safe to use. So just give that a scrub and wipe it off. Sometimes you have to do it once or twice. Other times it comes off the first time and you're good to go. I've been using this eight inch chalkboard for years. I have two of them that I go back and forth with. I wash one off and then I uh, redesign on it all the time. So this is one um, that is actually available to my club members in a bundle when you first sign up. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later. But it's called a Kickstart Bundle. All right, we're ready to roll on this one. Let's get it nice and dry. So the transfer that we're using today is called Let's Get Lost. And it is fine to use it just like it is. It's adorable, it's a globe. Um, I've thought of a few different ways to use this without the globe. And we'll save that for another day though, but I love this transfer. This is our Club Couture transfer for July. And um, at, as of August 1st, you will not be able to order this. No way, Jose. But right now, if you join the club, you are able to add this to your club subscription. And your regular subscription, the new one, will come out August 1st. But you can order this one right now if you join this month. So, as I was saying, I can use this just as it is, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I wanted to add a 3D effect to this. <laughs> um, Nancy, I know. But... I'll show you what I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do as always, and I don't have my marker as usual for the back. Why do I always lose that? I have a new organizer and I, I lose track of things. So I'm just gonna write, uh, let's get lost on the back. And my initials, front and back. So doing that reminds me that after I have washed my transfer dried its sticky side up and it's ready to be used again, but I'm not ready to use it. I can put it back on this carrier sheet and store it for the next time. So by writing on the back, it reminds me not to reattach the transfer to the wrong side of this white carrier sheet. So the side that the sticky part of the transfer is attached to goes on the slick side of the paper. This side of it that I wrote on is very dull and if you attach your transfer to the wrong side, you might be in trouble because it sticks pretty darn tight. So I'm just gonna peel the carrier sheet off like so. Try not to let it stick to itself. It can be a little tricky to unstick it. It happens all the time, but if it's really, really tight, here's a tip for you guys. If you have folded a transfer in half and it's really tightly stuck, run it under lukewarm water and very gently peel it apart and you should be fine. Good to go. All right, so as I was saying, our transfers are very sticky, some more than others, and I like to do something called fuzzing. And what you do for, uh, to fuzz a transfer is you um, attach it to something that has a little bit of lint on it, like a towel or your t-shirt or your jeans, whatever you have that's a little bit linty, and just kind of rub it on, and it picks up some of the fibers on the back and softens the adhesive. So it makes it a little bit easier to remove um, from your surface so it's not stuck quite so tight. And um, if you're doing a layering project, which this is not, you really wanna fuzz super well. Um, if you don't, sometimes the transfer is so sticky that it'll pull up what is underneath it. So your first layer can get damaged. So I'm gonna center this on my board. That was a little too high on this end. Right about there. And that's pretty good. And we're gonna take a squeegee. You can do this with your hand also. Just rub your hand over it to make sure there are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in your design transfer. I also like to go over it with one of our squeegees sometimes and make sure that it's down really nice and tight. When you're using a squeegee to rub your transfer down, make sure it's smooth. Sometimes you'll hear a little snap, crackle, and pop like Rice Krispies. That means you've got a space inside of your transfer that you'll wanna get down tight. That's like an air bubble. 
So, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, now, I'm gonna be doing um, the first technique, which is kind of like is, like is described right in your instruction flyer that I said comes with your Club Couture um, shipment every month. You just print this out, they give you a link to see it. And I'm gonna be using our um, Morning Sky and, what the heck color is a Storm. I'm using a color that's not exactly Storm because I don't have that one right now, but it will come with your, um, with your shipment. You'll get Storm, you will get Morning Sky and Sage. I meant to say Sage for this one. This is a green, it's very similar to what we were doing. And this is kind of the technique that we've done before, um, sort of an ombre effect. A little bit different than we'd used it before though. So as always, you wanna go in there and stir up your chalk paste really, really well. You want them to be about the consistency of cake batter or sour cream. This one feels just a little thicker than I like it to be, so I'm gonna give it a little drink of water. I'm using distilled water, which is safer for your paste. And by safer, I mean that it's less likely to cause mold uh, to grow in your jar. It, it happens um, with tap water sometimes. So you can get um, you can get a big gallon of distilled water for pretty pretty uh, pretty cheap in the grocery stores. So just grab a bottle, and I keep it hidden so nobody drinks it. So give that a good stir. So it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna go and do the same thing with the green, and this one also feels just a little thicker than I'd like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this one as well. I need to refill my bottle. All right, so at this point, I'm not going to do the stand that holds up the globe. What do you call that thing anyway? Globe stand holder. If anybody knows what that's called, let me know because I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by um, going in with the sage and plopping it on some areas of the globe. I'm not going to worry about this part right here, the hanger holder, <laughs> um, but I'm just going to concentrate on the center of this round globe for now. So I'm going to grab some chalk paste, and I cannot draw continents, but I'm just going to pretend that Africa is right around here and plop some chalk paste down on that. How's that look so far? <laughs> Maybe a little bigger. And we're going to do Europe over here, Asia, a little bit of Asia. I'm leaving this just a little bit thicker than I normally would. We'll put a little bit of Australia down here. Boy, do I know my continents. <laughs> um, of course, we have the United States up in this area. Here's Cape Cod, close to where I live. And we'll even put a little Florida in there. How's that? And how about South America? Can't forget them. All right. <laughs> so we've got our continents all put down on our transfer. And then I'm going to go in and add some ocean blue for the water. Guys, if you were just job jumping in, please say hello so I know that you're with me. And um, hit that S-H-A-R-E tab. Please, please, please. That helps build my audience, my algorithm goes up, and more people get to hear about uh, what the heck Chalk Couture is, because people still have not heard of it. Amazing, huh? All right, so I'm just popping this all around, all around. Thank gosh I don't have to stay in the lines, because that's not my thing. I can't do it. I can, I don't like to. <laughs> this is way easier. So I'm plopping in the water. This is not going to be um, accurate at all, but it's okay. It's all good. So I have some other ideas of how we're gonna use this transfer in the future. So here's my deal, guys. If you decide that you want to be a club member this month, you have to join in July, and you add this transfer onto your club selection, I'm gonna give you an add-on for this. I'm gonna mail it to you myself, and you'll see why when I'm done. All right, so that is pretty well covered. Now what we're gonna do is the ombre technique. Let me grab my paper towels. 
And what the, I'm going to do is just kind of drag this little bit larger trans, uh, squeegee through all of this design, blending them together like so. The excess, normally I put back in the jar, but not this time because I've mixed the colors together. It will corrupt um, the purity of the colors that I have already. So I'm just scooping that off and into a paper towel. Good morning, Corinne. All right. Hey, it kind of does look right with the continents. My elementary school teachers would probably be mortified if they saw this, huh? Forgot Antarctica down the bottom. Oh well. It's on the dark side of the moon today, I guess. All right, all right, so we've got this all blended and I have extended my paste a little bit into the holder thingy and that's okay and I'm going to show you why in a second. So let's get that messy thing away and we're going to peel and reveal our beautiful new globe. Now you always start peeling from the corner but as soon as you can grab the center of your transfer the better. Give that a pull. Try to pull it from the center low and slow. Um, by pulling it from the corners all the way across, there's a pretty good chance you're going to stretch your transfer out and it will not work as well next time. So be aware. All right. Ta-da! So pretty! There we go. So, you can see that I went outside the lines a little bit here and that's all right because we're just going to clean that off. Where on earth is my roll of towels? Oh, it's right next to me. Okay, so while this is still wet, I'm going to go in there and try to clean that up a little bit. Scooping up most of it anyway. All right, I got most of it. I'm going to go back in with a Q-tip and get a little bit more of it off. How's everybody doing today? You guys doing well? Any plans for the weekend? I haven't really made any plans yet. Not like we can go too many places, right? All right, so I'm just cleaning this up with a Q-tip and if it's a little bit messy there, it's okay because I'm gonna cover it anyway, but try to keep it neat. So I just dampened it a little bit. I don't want puddling because I would get into my chalk. And then we'll cry. No, we won't. This one's going to come out great. I've had two mishaps the last two weeks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think so, Nancy. I don't know about that. So I'm going to dry this with my heat tool for just a minute. And wait till you see what we're going to do with this next. I'm excited. Thanks, Leslie. So when you are doing this, you want to try to get your chalk uh, as thin as you can by scraping most of it off. The thinner your chalk paste is actually the better it looks. Crazy but true. You doing good, Patty? How are your baby girls? I've seen some pictures of them. They are getting so big. Oh my gosh. Seems like they were just born. All right. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to close up my chalk paste. You want to keep these covered as much as possible because the more air they're exposed to, um, the thicker they get. So you want to keep them covered if you can. If they do end up getting thick, um, like I said before, add a little bit of distilled water and stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. All right, I'm going to move this to the side for a minute while we tackle our next part of this project. So let me see if I can... Find a spot for that where I won't knock it off my table. And I'm going to show you this. Ta -da -da. Guess what we're going to do with this? This is going to go over here, like so, after we chalk it. Let me move that up a little bit. 
I made a little globe stand yesterday and I cut it out of wood. And we are gonna chalk um, the details on top of this. And I'm going to attach it to the chalkboard with magnets. And there's a reason. There is a reason. But first, before I tell you, let me chalk this part of it. Oh, you know what? I actually need to clean this a little bit because I got some of the chalk in the transfer. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of my water. If I had some um, disinfectant wipes, I'd certainly use those, but I haven't been able to get any yet. I know they're out there, but can't find them. Wonderful and sassy. Ooh, just like their grandma. Alright, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. So we can do the what are we gonna call this? The arm? What the heck is this called? The globe stand. I don't know what else to call it. Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put to dry in the back a little bit. Wanna get water in there. Sassy pants. I make such a mess when I'm chalking. It's okay, it all washes off. All right, so let's see if I can find a happy spot for this. It still looks a little bit wet. Hold on, guys. I don't want to leave any wetness in there because it'll cause the chalk to bleed. And there's no bleeding on the transfers. No, no, none of that. Can I use that much water? Yeah, this is a lot easier and quicker if you're using a disinfectant wipe, but I think I have it. I think I've got it. All right, so my cutting skills are getting better, I gotta say, with my wood, my wood saw. I use a little scroll saw in my basement to make things. However, cutting a curved edge is not the easiest thing, let me tell you. But I'm getting better. All right, so I'm getting the arm of our globe holder. <laughs> You're looking for wipes too? Oh my gosh, people, you know, hoarding wipes, really? Glad I don't have to have a baby to clean. That sounded weird. <laughs> I guess you can get baby wipes, but you, they're really not good for your transfer, so I'm not going to go there. I'm not doing that. I want to keep my transfer as good as long as I can, but the arm of this, we're only going to need to chuck once because it can be used for all of the different things that I have in mind. So, I'm getting there. Thanks for hanging in with me. All right, so... Day. I think we've got it. Probably should have started with the arm first. It would have been, would have made a lot of sense, but that's okay. All right, so for the holder of the globe, the globe holder, we're going to use, um, this is called Shimmer Gold. Um, it doesn't come with your, your kit, but absolutely something we can make sure that you have to use if you like this color. You really could use the storm gray that comes with it with no problem too. It will look just as nice. So I'm gonna take a little scoop of that. I think I'm gonna use a small one. This is our multi-tool. It's got a very small um, squeegee on this end. This end is curved so that you can clean inside of your jar, but you can also use this to stir up your paste. Works great. So I'm just gonna go around the edges with my multi-tool. Um, if you don't have one, you can also use your mini squeegee like we used before. This just seemed to fit the bill this morning though. So my chalk club, again, you get a shipment every single month. It is $19.99 in the States. If you are in Canada, it's a little bit more. It is $26.99. Um, when you are a club member, not only do you get your monthly um, exclusive transfer and paste, you also get special prices for um, products every month. There's something different. And you also get a discount on your shipping from my website. So there's great reasons to be a club member. Let's see. Uh, we also have something called a Kickstart Bundle. And what that is, um, it's for club members. What that is, is you would get 
the surface that I'm using now, the Aiden Magnetic Chalkboard, which is important if you want to do a project like exactly like this one. You get um, this multi-tool. You get those board erasers that I used earlier to clean my chalkboard with. Those are great for transfers as well. You get a three ounce jar of white chalk paste, which you're gonna use all the time. Um, you get a palette sign. I don't have one of those handy, but I've done um, work on those before. It's a five by seven white um, wooden sign that you can design on, it's so pretty. And it's double sided. We got it. Um, did I miss anything on there? So you can get that for $69.99 in the States and $93.49 in Canada. And they're all the things that you need to complete any of the projects that we do with our kits. And that is something you can only order um, when you join Club Couture as a bundle and you do save. I think it's $6 if I'm not mistaken. I have to check on that. All right, I think we're good. All I can do to not sing, we are the world. I did it, I did it. All right, so let's see how this looks. Let's see if I can peel this up without knocking it down. Yeah, love it. Okay, good morning, Mary. All right, so we've got that chalked. It looks beautiful. I'm going to close up my gold chalk paste here. And I'm going to dry this for just a moment before we put it all together. Guys, do you have any idea what I'm thinking that you could do with this? Any idea at all? These are the things that keep me up at night and get me up early in the morning. I think of things I can do with what I have. I'm just going to give that one more second because I have to flip it over and put something on the back. Okay. All right, that looks beautiful. So, what do you think? Kind of cute, huh? I love it. I love, love, love it. So, I'm going to get some glue here. I've got my glue gun heating up. Hopefully it's on. Yep, it's on. And I have some strips of magnets that I found in my basement. Guys, I think these are older than me. I think these might have been something my mother had back in the day. But, let's see, I need a little bit of room here. Hold on. Hold on. Steady. All right, so I'm going to cut some small pieces of this magnet and glue it around the edges of the globe holder. We have to do better than that, you guys. Is it a stand? Should we call it a globe stand? I don't know. That works. All right, so I'm just cutting small strips and I want it to go all the way around um, the edges of the globe so that it holds everything tight to the magnetic um, board that I'm using. The Aiden board has been one of my all-time favorite surfaces to work on. It's so forgiving. Um, you can use it, as I said, I've been using them for years. And I've never had a problem with them. They are guaranteed to last and last, and they do. Um, but I love that it's magnetic, so I can put stuff like this on there too. That one looks a little too thick for right there. Switch you. I'm putting quite a few on because this piece looks like it could be a little bit easy to slide. So I wanna make sure that there's plenty of magnets on there. And then I have to remember, uh, be sure that I put the right side of the magnet on the base. Just put that right like that, couldn't I? All right, that would go down here. So let's see. Okay, so it looks like the side that used to have tape on it goes in the back. 
You're going to add some charms. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So, so Jill, you're on to my idea, kind of. So my thought is that I am going to make some pumpkins to put in the center of the globe stand for fall. Uh, maybe an ornament for Christmas, maybe some snowflakes for winter. We have today, our brand new catalog is launching and I've been drooling all over all of the new designs and there are some seasonal ones that I have my eye on that I think would look awesome instead of hanging the globe from the stand. Um, <laughs> we can hang a pumpkin, we can hang all those different things on there. I think it's gonna be adorable. So you guys, if you ouch, are not a designer and are not already a member of my club and decide that you wanna join Club Couture this month and add this transfer on, I'm gonna send you this, this whole arm so that you can design with me every single time. So if you are a club member already, already a club member, and you would like an arm for your, um, your globe and your other creations for that, I will also send them to you, but you have to let me know that you want it. And for you guys, I'm just gonna have to charge you shipping for it. So sorry, but I need to, uh, need to do that this time. But if you are a brand new member, I'm just going to send it to you. Oh, that was a little fat there. And it'll be yours to keep. New members. We have a lot of fun with our Club Couture. And um, it's been really, really successful. People love it. Love, love, love it. And I love that I can show you different ways to use ones that we have. All right, I think we're all around the world there. There was one more thing I wanted to do to this. You I don't know. I always like to add a little bit of softness to my designs. I don't always, but I like to. So, let's see. Ah, look at all the glue. It's like a spider web here. Okay, so if this worked well, oh, it sticks. There we go. She's so cute. What do you think, guys? Yes, please. Yes, please. You've got it. So I have some ribbon, and I think I'm going to just add a little bit of softness to this because I have to. I know. You know, you guys know me. I'm going to just have a little bow here around the base. Black and white check. Oh, my gosh. I know I use this all the time. For a while, it was all that I pretty much had but because um, I hadn't been shopping much. But it goes with everything. I love gingham. Or mini buffalo check, whatever you want to call it. But I think that looks so sweet. Cut the points here. Cut the points here. And we have our finished board. I love it. So good when things come out well especially after you've had a flop the day before right <laughs> all right so again I wanted to show you a little bit about the Club Couture um, you do get a video that shows you step by step how to complete a project like this one minus the cute stand those are only for my customers um, you get the instructions that you can print out and have written you have the option of ordering this transfer when you join Club Couture right now you will be subscribing for your first shipment to come in August. However, while supplies last, you can add Let's Get Lost to your order, and you can also add that, um, that other piece that I told you about the Kickstart program, and this is what it looks like. You get the board that I used today, the 8-inch chalkboard. You get two board erasers. You get a mini squeegee. You get a, a multi-tool. That's that little palette sign that I told you about, and I don't know what that little thing is in the middle. I don't know. And I can't see it as well as you can, so maybe you'll have to tell me. Um, so that is something that you can add on, and you do save money on that. What on earth is that? Oh, it's a white chalk paste. Forgot about that. Um, so that is what the, um, the Kickstart bundle looks like. Love the program. Love it, love it, love it. 
go back to where I was here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this. Hold on. So sorry guys, I'll be right with you. Maybe not. All right, well, we're going to be crazy today. All right, we'll do it that way. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> okay, so again, um, if you decide to become a brand new club member, I will make you this adorable stand and send it to you. Look how sweet that is. Yeah, it came out so nice. I love it. So you will get that from me as a thank you gift for joining my club. If you are already a member and you would like one of these, please let me know. Oh, uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Let's see if I'm missing any comments here. All right. So, in addition to that, tonight is day four of my Christmas in July sale. I've had so much fun seeing everybody there and finding good homes for all of these beautiful design transfers and other things that I've had available. Um, tonight, I will have a new item. I'm just going to say that's not transfers. That's all I'm going to say. But you don't want to miss it. So be there 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see that. And tomorrow morning, I will be back with another project for you guys. So I hope that you tune in 10 a.m. And um, again, please let me know. If you decide to join the club, I'll get an email about it. And I will send you out a, um, a stand for your club if you decide to add this onto your bundle. So I think it came out great. And I'm so happy that you are with me to share this fun project. And I will be back tomorrow morning. Have a great day and um, yeah, enjoy. Bye-bye.